Manawa mai te putanga o te riki. Manawa mai te matahi o te tau. Manawa tia a matariki e. The stars have gathered. Super Rugby Pacific has its dream final as the Blues and Crusaders meet in front of a sold-out Eden Park. Tēnā koutou katoa, hāri mai ki tāmaki makaurau, where there is great excitement in the air right around the city, great anticipation as the Crusaders come north to where it all began for them and the Blues hunt their first full title in 19 years. Great to be here in the company of Carl Tenana and Justin Marshall. Good evening to you, TJ. No mai, hāri mai, te whānau, kia ora. Welcome everybody to the big dance, the Super Rugby Pacific final. The two best teams in the comp go toe to toe in the final we have all been waiting for. The people's final, yes boy. Well, minimal changes for either side after they came through the semi-finals last week. Alex Hodgman started out with the Crusaders, now back home and ready to battle it with Oli Jaeger. All Black Cody Taylor has recovered from a semi-final injury up against the dynamic Kurt Eklund. It's been a timely return to form for Nipo Laulala, an All Black duel with George Bauer awaits. A case of brothers at arm's length, both Scott Barrett and Josh Goodhue have siblings in the opposition tonight. The one change to the Crusaders, a big one, Sam White locked back. Tom Robinson made a couple of huge plays last week. Two men looking to harness their inner beast, Pablo Matera and Akira Ioane in the sixth jersey. With Dalton Papali'i consigned to the bench, the biggest game of Adrian Choate's career. Tom Christie's been excellent for the Crusaders. And at eight, Hoskins Satutu made the All Blacks. Maybe Cullen Grace has a point to prove. Live wire, Finley Christie sets the Blues going from nine. Plenty of finals experience with Bryn Hall. What a blockbuster showdown we have at first five. Bowden Barrett and Richie Moonga. Mark Talia and Sebu Reese on the wings in absolutely outstanding form right now. And the hits just keep on coming. Another fantastic duel at 12. Roger Tuivasa-Shek and David Harveli. The blistering speed of Rika Yawani at centre. Jack Goodhue's skills on display opposite. Power, pace and work great collide with AJ Lamb and Lester Fyinga Anuku. Stephen Perifeta and Will Jordan have been on fire at fullback all season. Now let's go sideline to KT for the reserves and match conditions. Yeah, kia ora mashi, tato ma. For the craters, well, they're loaded. But look for the injection of pace from George Bridge and the raw power of Tamaiti Williams. To the Blues, off of Matunga Fasi made a massive play in the semi. Now look and expect similar tonight, but a massive boost with normal stand and skipper Dalton Papaliti getting the all clear to rip in the final. Conditions, well, a bit variable to say the least in Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. It is trickling down a little bit and expected to come and go as the games go on. Well, this is where it all started for the Crusaders, 1998, the year they came to Eden Park and ended the Blues' early domination of Super Rugby. What they have done in the 24 years since is nothing short of remarkable. 12 titles in all, and the chance here now to go full circle. And history very much in their favour. They've won their last four finals. They've not lost at Eden Park since 2014. They've not lost a playoff game since losing to the Lions in Johannesburg in 2016. They did lose to the Blues in Christchurch in March, but winning the really big games is what they do better than any other team. <laughs> Scott Barrett, who was such a huge influence last week, leads the team out he'll feel great about having Sam Whitelock right behind him. As always, the spotlight will be on Richie Moonga, the orchestrator of so much of what the Crusaders do. And of course, inevitably ahead of the international season, his head-to-head -head with Bowden Barrett will be a focal point. The Blues make their first appearance in a full championship final since 2003. Back when they had Graham Henry in the back room. They beat the Crusaders that year, but have won only six of the 29 clashes between the two since. After blowing their opener against the Hurricanes, they've gone on a 15-game winning run, the third best in Super Rugby history. It's a great achievement, but how much will it count for if they can't go all the way? This, surely, for the Blues, is the moment of truth. Super Rugby.
rugby first, a very rare moment in rugby when two brothers are not just opponents in a final, but rival captains. Bowden Barrett has this year provided the consistent spark in the 10 jersey that the Blues have been looking for since the days of Carlos Spencer. A chance to add a second title to the one he claimed with the Hurricanes six years ago. It's a big occasion, and to mark this all New Zealand final, the national anthem to be sung by Kotere and this crowd of over 43,000 will stand. Teddy, the Fisher brothers, Branford, Tyler, Joshua and Conrad, brothers of Napui by way of Perth with the national anthem. Here's our referee, Ben O'Keefe, has been given the nod for the final. He refereed the semi here last week. Nick Berry and Stu Curran are the assistants. Shane McDermott is the TMO. The rain is trying to clear. We're hoping that it's been and gone. Conditions are going to play a part, but what a final we have in store. They've been talking for weeks about the potential for a dream final. And it is the top two teams that have made it through to the decider at Eden Park. The Crusaders have won the toss and they have chosen to kick off. Richie, there's going to be a countdown. One of the biggest occasions at Eden Park since the 2011 Rugby World Cup. Biggest crowd in New Zealand for a non-international match in over 20 years. The Crusaders dynasty, can it continue or will the Blues turn the page and open a new chapter? It's the Blues and the Crusaders and the Decide. Super Rugby decider, the first oh, Super Rugby Pacific final. Oh. Richie Maunga, it was with the kickoff. Stephen Pedalfetta, the and kick for touch, and we yeah. go to the first Good set space. piece of the game. Good space, Blue, hold him there. Yep, good work. It runs 10, 10. Cody Taylor, it will be and Sam Whitelock with that thumb heavily strapped. They go to Cullen Grace, who has been outstanding at line-out time, and straight away the Crusaders take it ahead. 
now breaking away with it is Taylor. They're just a few metres away from the 22, so first attacking opportunity of the game goes with the champions. Matera and Pablo Matera shrugs off the first tackle. Now David Havili oh, ran into a solid tackle by Goodhue, but he's bounced out of it and he's got the ball inside the 22. Grace moves it on. Now into midfield they go and Bauer is there. Promising from the Crusaders early on. Maunga trying to stab a kick through. It was blocked, but Bryn Hall has done well. And it's there again for the Crusaders. Scott Barrett. No one there at halfback. But now Bryn Hall extricates himself. Jaeger quickly on. Jordan up in the line. Quick hand. Sebu Reese close to the touchline. And the ball goes out. Prolonged build up from the Crusaders, but the Blues have held. Very good start, though, from the Crusaders. Flexing their muscles, brushing a couple of tackles. Mateta got rid of one. So did Harvey Their shape's nice. Ford's in the back line. Boinger tried a little bit of innovation with the kick through. Good start from the defending champions. Now pressure on the Blues line out. First throw of the night for Kurt Eklund. And it's awkward, and it's been knocked back on the Crusaders' side. It was George Bauer who got a hand on it in the end. And so here they come again. Maung, a little juggle, and then the drop ball in midfield. The referee says play on. They get it wide. Fang, a knuckle, he's put into touch. Good cover defence from the Blues. They survive. They scrambled really well. I think the pass for Moonga has been ruled to go backwards and went straight back into his lap. Really nice shift on from Harvelli, equally from Goodyear. Great cover defence from the Blues. Goodyear could have almost found something miraculous when Fying Anuku got it back on the inside, but he couldn't control it. Yeah, fantastic scramble. Was on a margin from the Blues. It's a real hallmark of their game, but also the hallmark of the Crusaders' game is keeping their width, using their skills, and they showed it on that occasion. Uh, uh, Roger Tui, Vasa Shek. He was the man who provided the real force. First scrum, slow call, Again, space and balance. One of the strongest finishes in the game, too, in Leicester, Fainga Anuku. I need the scrum here, the Blues. Really difficult place to exit from. You can't get an angle to kick as a Patience. nine. So you do need to phase first. We can see two of us, Ashik is sitting there, and also Talia. So Tutu may look to hit them, but what you need first is that platform. It needs to be solid and straight. Well, such an important part of the Two contest, steps this. Steps. It's not our way. Blue scrum, no. though, is solid. And Satutu is the man who picks it up off the back. Makes play in field, but he's fallen a little awkwardly. Coming back, though, for the Blues. Now they have got that angle to clear. OK, wait. Wait, Red. It'll be Finley Christie. There's a little glance down the touchline. Stay there. And out it goes, but only as far as the 22. Scott, Scott, take a step there. So another line out. This time they speed it up. White lock down the back. Little delay. And the infield ball to Faina Anuku. He's put on the ground on the 22 there for Bryn Hall, playing his last game for the Crusaders tonight. Now Matera, but he's met with force on Choke and Goodhue combining to drive the big Pumas, Lucy back. Jordan, that change of direction, the little shimmy, but then didn't control the ball on the ground. Crusaders have knocked it on, but the Blues will try and make some advantage here on the short side. Tui Vasashek, little delay, Pero Feta, gliding run down towards the 10 metre mark. Now a chance for the Blues to break out. Choke is there. Barreling into the tackle. They've got a penalty advantage too. They came up offside. He's good. No advantage. So now, after spending the first five minutes of the game on defence, the Blues get a chance to attack. He got his payback. Number three. Good choke on Matera. He got brushed and earlier seven. in the game. Well, this time he put a shot on him, and that stifled the momentum of the Crusaders, got them on the back foot. From there, the mistake in the air at the breakdown in the Blues. Wow, good to see. Ambition to play. Test the boundaries outside of their own 22. Have won a penalty. Good reward. Now their opportunity 
to get into this game with ball in hand. The one thing that's very noticeable, Marsh, here was the tempo of the Crusaders. There's the big shots coming in from the Booze players, the two best defensive teams in the competition. Well, again, the ball's been knocked away, and it's Cullen Grace, but it's very awkward for Bryn Hall. Almost back to the 22, but they've got it. And Christie, well, some real venom, this time leading the line. It's Choate again, playing his blazer game for the Blues tonight. Take him back. back they go, high one, and he's managed to get away from Satuta, and now he runs Mauna, and he runs after throwing the dummy. But the ball's been dropped by the supporting runner, Cody Taylor, and it's been snapped up by Goodhue. Now Akira Ioane starts to run, but he's given it away. Referee says we'll come back. Oh, he stayed oh, down. He stayed down too, Cody Taylor, but what a breakout. You're right. The footwork of Richie Moonga. For a minute, if you blink and give him a slight sniff of an opportunity, he will dazzle you, dazzle you with footwork. Literally the next Nice little dummy as he had already sidestepped the defender. Gravitates back inside. Cody Taylor had a bit of a look at Bowden Barrett, got it on the chest and spilled it. But it goes to show you the danger of the Crusaders. Turned the line out over, and then they were prepared to attack out of their 22. Well, Razor Roberts has given them a license to accept to them. They've got to be brave in the final. Really That's something blue, that Rich Wong is definitely brave. He saw the opportunity. He had the skills to exploit the Blues. Looks like Cody Taylor's OK. Let's go, Blue! Unable to play a full part last week. That's well, going to be one of those games. Just little moments of brilliance. Desperate defence. Okay, patience on the call. Keep it second scrum. Keep the height. Nearly seven minutes have flown by. No score at Eden Park. It's a really good area of the field to get Roger two of us to check into the game. Lamb will hold defenders with just like to stay behind the scrum and moving to the left as he is now. He can bounce out off an 8 9 or straight off saw 2 2. Bowden Barrett slightly deeper. First blue scrum with solid Satutu again takes it off the back and powers it up towards halfway. Christie reaching in but can't affect the turnover. A little delay and then firing it wide to the very impressive AJ Lamb. Nipple Two locks combining to make the tackle. That little change of direction that we see from Bowden Barrett. Christie's there to take the pass. Now Robinson. No loss. Blues now starting to come no. into it. Tuivasa Shek made the call. Rico Ioane the step. Now he has to get it to ground. Well wrapped up by the excellent Crusaders defence. Jaeger coming out to make the tackle on Goodhue. Quickly snapped up, though, by Christie. Nothing really on for Barrett, so he just drives ahead in the tackle. They love that quick ruck ball, the Blues, but this is good defence now from the Crusaders. Peril better. Well, they had a few goes, nothing really on. And so, Will Jordan, you've got to be careful kicking to him. Talia made chase, but he couldn't nail him. And it's there for Hall. Okay, right in front, Straight lines. to the boot goes Richie Moore. Yeah. Right, Pedal Feta stationed well in the middle of the 22 to take it. Okay, blue, home. He sends it deep. Now, what's he going to do this time? Now, he goes high. It's hanging to Lear. It's going to challenge him in the air. Knock on. He couldn't take it, That's Christie, because he was offside, and now the Crusaders have it. Seru Reis was shaping for a drop kick, and then off across the field he goes, sliding the kick in behind, and into touch it goes. You need to be careful, the Blues, about how much space they give this back three, and in particular Will Jordan. That was his no, return to serve. Talia couldn't handle yeah, it. Check this out. He puts some footwork on. Completely bamboozles Robinson without getting near him. The kick through. You can see how skinny it is. They are dangerous, this back three of the Crusaders. Don't move in, Red. Five. So the Blues have lost two off their own throw. They'll have to sort that out quickly. They go to Robinson, it's been sacked by the Crusaders. So they can't drive it away. 
Christie is calling on a couple of the big fours to try and rumble it up a bit. No, no. No, it's not out. Christie now. No, no, no. It's the call from referee Ben O'Keefe. And he's put it out, but he's really only gained maybe eight, nine metres. Keep working out the front. We happy? Go quickly to Crusaders. Christie on to Wong into the midfield. Yeah, Harvey now just slipping as he's confronted by Choke. Blue's trying to drive over it. Well, he said that Hoskins Satuta was entitled to play at that. And so it's play on. Came through the middle of the ruck. Now Moonga running behind the screen. Here's Jordan, moves it on. Havili. Now Sebu Reese. The man with those electrifying feet. The offload to Moonga. Broken play running here from the Crusaders. Brace put on the ground by Satutu. Now Gucci. He's going to have Yuani on. He bumps him off too. Eklund was there to help out. But again, the Crusaders building. Now Faina and Oh, ball! What a ball away to Gucci! Sends it back on the inside, and Cody Taylor! Oh, boy! That was brilliant, but the flag's gone up. He's out and he's got the ball. He's out and he's got the ball. Uh, so, sort of scramble from the Blues, but the skill set of the Crusaders down the that five. short side. Right off the Check this out. Lester firing Anuku brings to in, holds another defender off. One-handed offload out the back door, and they scramble just the Blues. Yes, the tempo once again, though, Marshy, that the Crusaders are playing it, they're throwing it in quickly, they're keeping the Blues off balance, and they have to sit a little bit, sit a little bit quicker, do the Blues to try and stop this. Well, the Blues go over the top, and Satutu it is who comes away with it. And Finley Christie sends the kick away down towards halfway, but You're again, not far beyond the 22. Side. He's not happy where the flag's going up. Shown a lot of variation so far, the Crusaders. Five plus one to six plus one. Mateta's spending a lot of time in the back line. This time Christie's in at half back. So painting a different picture every time to the Blues, the Crusaders at the moment at line-out time. Cody Taylor taking his time. Getting a good grip on the ball. Cullen Brace again, the target. Who has a real point to prove here tonight? Taylor has it in the back. One blue left in the leg. And they've got penalty advantage here. The Crusaders Maunga lines up a drop kick. And it is over. Alex is looking at the leg of the ball. Crusaders straight first. Show the boot of Richie Maunga. Well set from the line out. They drew the penalty. The composure of Moonga, he knew that he had penalty advantage and he struck it absolutely pinpoint perfect. The Crusaders take the lead. Yeah, why not? It was a free play, wasn't it, Marsh? He knew he was going to get an opportunity off the tee. Those all-important first points in the final, massive. So first points, Richie Moonga. Not often a New Zealand match opens with a drop kick, but this is a final. Now, Cullen Grace. Certainly been prominent early on. Use it, nine! Now, Hall. Really hasn't looked back since joining the Crusaders. Bryn Hall sends a good clearing kick down towards halfway. There he is. I'm sure there'll be a big crowd watching it. The Northcote Rugby Club tonight. Down the back it goes, but they just can't win a line out at the moment, the Blues. And Harvey sends it deep. Oh, what a kick! 50-22. I think it was carried back. So we got 50-22? It is a 50-22. Yep. They just had to confirm, but yeah, what a kick line from David Harvey. The, the line out was the inside the half, so it's a 50 22. And just showing that flexibility with the kicking options they've got. Harvey steps in, nails a great kick. This time, Matera is the target, bounces away, and here's Harvey again. They really are challenging this Blues defense now. 
charging onto Christie. He's met by solid resistance, but they're hammering away now at the door. Taylor. He stopped just a couple of metres short, numbers building away to the right. Scott Barrett, driven back in the tackle by Choke. Matera picks up a low one. Hall, clearing it away, firing a knocker. He's so strong, he goes over the line. Have they held him up? I've got nine blue under it. We're going to check it. I've got nine blue under it. Well, Fanganuku thinks he scored here. He's certain he scored. I tell you, how powerful is he? He's going to come upstairs. He had two defenders. He got it flat footed and the leg no drive try. and then the power while falling to reach out. That ball. I just want to make sure that it doesn't hit the ground first over the line for it to be a try. So on field, no try at this stage. Let's come out to you to double check. So on field, no try, looking for a ground. No, it wasn't. I saw that. He's oh, alongside good. him. Yep. Well, Richie Mong has got the ball on the tee. They're so confident. Remember, the call is no try, so they have to come up with evidence to show that he's grounded it. That might be a try-saving slide by Akira Ioane. There's the ball on the ground. moment I think this will clearly show the ball on the ground eventually it's just about how it eventually got there and the time spent getting it there but we'll get a frame shortly where you can see it now on the ground hey there Ben there's no clear evidence of a grounding over the line. Stick with your on-field decision. Yeah, so I've got nine blues under that ball, so no try. We've got a goal line dropout. Well, the ball ended up on the, on the ground. I guess what he's saying is that you just didn't see it placed on the ground. No, and look, I can agree with that. You know, initially it was held just up. Wait. It looked like it was wait. on the ground, but it probably wasn't clear. Cody. And I think they really needed to be clear that they could see actual grounding. But it's yep. another one yep. dodged Come by on. the Blues. Can they keep holding out? Crusaders absolutely dominating the first 15 minutes of this final. Jordan. And they've got a good place to start again. Approaching the 20 to Bauer. Throws pass. a lovely pass. And a lovely tip on two from Goodju. Kick into the corner. Christie's there first, though. Oh, there'll be another goal line dropout. It's a return ball from this pod right here that's causing all types of confusion for the Blues back seat. They're having to jam in, which is allowed space on the outside. And that's where the Crusaders at the moment are thriving. Well, wave after wave after wave. But still just three to show for it. Fanga Anuku, who's convinced he scored moments ago. Oh yeah, he always no, gets fine. on the other side of the tackler. Sam Whitelock. Good Hugh and Lolala with the tackle. Moonga. Good Hugh again looking sharp. Jordan. Tackle made by Roger Tuivasa Shek. Cullen Grace. Make any progress, but a winning quick ball. Bauer. Ball again. Harvili. Now Mormon. Lovely hands. Good shoot. Ball on the ground. And the referee says knock on. No good defense from the Blues. And they finally got the ball. Akira Iwani muscling away with it. 
Now Barrett sends a kick out towards the wing. Lamb's got it. And he's going to have Brace on. Can't get past the young number eight. Then throws a speculator in fear. They'll come back. Oh, they're, away. they're inside the 22 under pressure. No advantage. Knock on by Red. Blue scrum. Good referee. They were under advantage for the knock on. Bowden Barrett knew that. And he tried for something really ambitious, which was a cross kick. It didn't work. What's that? But boy, oh boy. OK, time off. The Crusaders are launching wave after wave. Jeffy, coming upstairs to you. Blues are doing well. So we're we're like scrambling to Blue three. Yes, their the physicality too. There's we'll something look at really standing out sideline, marching from the Crusaders right from the get go. They're massive in that department. Well, yeah. I think there's a, a TMO call coming up here, and I think it's, it's got something to do with Nepal La Lala. Well, might be Cullen Grace on the deck. He might have copped it too, TJ. Just taking the towel to the facials. Yeah, he was down, actually. That's why he was defending out on the wing when Bowden Barrett went for the cross kick. Um, Cullen Grace stayed down on the far side of the field. I'll tell sure you what. That's what they're looking at, KT, but I'll he certainly was down, wasn't he? Yeah, I'll tell you what, Marsh, it's never good when the uh, referees bring the naughty boy chair out next to you, too. <laughs> oh, no, it is not good. Just finding the pitch again. Well, this might be First up now, a ben. very anxious couple of moments here. We're watching Nepal Lal Lala here. So nothing to do with Cullen Grace. It's Bauer. He's dropping. Oh, there's the arms. Where are the arms? That's the problem. He's so low, Bauer, and he is dipping, Lal Lala. He's trying to get lower. I don't see a lot of Falpeda apart from the tuck arm. This is going to happen to every rut day, I'll be honest, Marsh. I'm going to get this low before it's hitting up here. Yeah. See, the best thing is he's dropped his knees and hits a bit. Sure, you're rid of him. So Bauer drops, now Lala st drops. Hey, well, I don't think he's... We need to see it from the other angle. Yeah, I don't, I don't see him... Um... He's late on the wrap. That's probably his biggest problem. No well, doubt I, he's I, made I'm connection not, with the head, yeah. with the shoulder. But look, look how low so, he is. I know, I'd so penalise it. So, Bez, I'm at, I'm That's at all I would do. OK. OK, he's going to the head. Yeah. I agree. You agree? Yeah. OK. Um, Jeff, you were a play on at the moment because the guy's bent at the hips. We don't see any foul play there, even though there is contact. Is there anything else you want to show us? No, I've got nothing else to show you, Ben. OK, mate, so yes, there is, there is head contact. But the player's so low, he's trying to make an, a normal tackle. There's nothing reckless about it. He is trying to get his arm up to wrap. Um, so that's, there's, there's nothing out of order about that. So we're just going to go back to the scrum play on. Yeah. OK, scrum. Well, hearts in the mouths, I'm sure, for Blues fans. Blues coaching staff, Nepal Lal Lala, but Ben O'Keefe has decided no foul. And we'll go to the scrum. What a sight. Over 43,000. The tickets went so quickly earlier in the week. They put on a few more. We've even got some standing room tickets here tonight. Yeah, away to the left, you'll see there in front of the West Stand. They've done their homework, the Crusaders, similar position, just a little bit further up the field, but same problems in exi exiting from this zone. So 2-2 two -two went off the bat before, which is not easy to do because you're against the grain. Bryn Hall needs to get in there and stop him from doing that, and that forces a pass to either Talia or two of us a Sheik. Well, they might have had problems at line-out time. The scrum has functioned well so far for the Blues. Don't touch him coming in from the Crusaders. Satutu flings it away to Ivasa Shek. Oh, he's gone very hard at Goodhue there. Goodhue oh, reeling oh, back. Inside. White and blue. White Christie up. yet again sends the kick down the touchline. Oh, he's put it out as playing Anuku. That'll be a blue throw. Will it? Oh, no, he said it was on the line. Looked for a moment like he might have just... Stutter on stepped the onto the line. line. He's got to catch it on the full. He's dropped. Here you go. Regardless, excellent exit from What's the Blues. Excellent? The Tutu good, did well to get it away under pressure and a really good clearance from Christy. I think they're going to have a look at it. Hold, Stu. OK. Guys, time off. We're checking again. So we're coming upstairs. Jeffy, put it on the screen. We've got potential foul play head on head. 
Well, this might we'll be a uh, good view, uh, I think it is. I'm looking at. I don't, mate, I don't. Absolutely, it was good here. On, on to Master Shep. There's this one here, he like he takes all the... Well, that's why he, he went reeling back. Yeah, again, on that accidental head contact. Both players' actions resulted in... An accidental collision where they've there's, there's nothing 13 could have done banned heads, honestly. I don't think either player could have done anything different to avoid this from happening. And Jackie Dick Goody looks the one that come out worse for wear too, Marshy. Yeah. Yeah, he, he looked stunned when he came down. Okay, you're saying that so 12 knocks him in, but he, but he is upright. He's not bent like the other player. Have a look at it real speed. Yeah, so do we have a penalty there? Because he's upright? Yeah. What do you think? Again, if you just show us some real speed as well. He's actually, 12 actually tackles him into it, eh? Yeah. yeah. So, mate, if, if, if Here's your real speed, Ben. What's that? Yeah. He's so stationary and, and, and backwards, eh? Well, I'll tell you what, lads, it hasn't been dull this first quarter. Certainly has not, on. KT. Can you, can you understand play on? It's the same as... It's, it's, yeah. So, um, Gappy, we're at play on at the moment because 13's actually, even though he is upright, he's stationary, he's standing there. Uh, 12 red actually tackles blue, the blue player into him, which, which causes the contact. Is there anything else you want to show us? No, I've got nothing else, Ben. OK, so 12 red tackles blue into that player. 13 stationary. Yes, he's upright, but he's not causing that foul play, so we're coming back for the line-out. Well, this time, some relief for the so Crusaders, the I think. Over the plane of I touch. just think that's just outstanding officiating. I've seen it from so a player's this, view to it for once, and it's such uh, a good thing. Uh, and both players are fine that were involved yep, in the collision. Both players are fine and able to continue. And so can the game without the ramifications of the card. Down the back it goes, Scott Barrett. The line out has Get been right working beautifully for the Crusaders. A high test coming forward. Barrett couldn't get to it. Jordan's got it for the Crusaders. But a little knock on in there. Knock on into a blue player, into a blue player. Well, they're winning the battle into at the line out. Now winning the battle in the air at the moment too, but this time a little mistake. Well, let's go down to the sideline. Blues defensive coach Craig McGrath. Well, Craig, boy, you've had your work cut out in the first 20 minutes. You feel pretty good about only being three down the pressure they put on you, I wonder. Yeah, the scoreboard looks good, eh? But we're in a bit of heat at the moment. They're coming hard and they're winning collisions. So uh, they're getting quick ball and they're just on top and we're not able to recover. So, But the boys are screaming well now. I'm pretty proud of them. You know, uh, standing in the corner. So what's the key to riding the storm out, Craig? Oh, look, we've got we to get some ball. For one, you know, we lost a couple of lineouts. Uh, two, we've got to play some territory and get down there, you know. Um, they've been camped down here, so that'll be the keys, mate. The scrum penalty might help you. Yeah, that'll be handy, eh, TJ? <laughs> OK, mate. Well, the play on. Roger Tuibasashek flicks it away to Rico Yordani. Now Barrett, the kick ahead. Having to streak back for the Crusaders as Sebu Reese. He's put it into touch and suddenly an opportunity presents itself for the Blues. Oh, and Rick Romano's up. He knows the significance of that in finals. You've got to seize your opportunities. The Blues off a scrum penalty. They didn't just milk it. They decided to have a lick. And because of that, the bounce pass caught out the defenders. I think it was Arbelli into the hands of two of us. A Sheck, Ioani back on the inside to Bowden Barrett. Time just kicked perfectly. The Crusaders under the pump now. The game has changed. Well, the first thing is they've got to secure the line out. And Sam Whitelock has come through and he's absolutely robbed them of it. And now Goodhue charges away with it. Wait, wait. Well, that no, line out is proving a real problem for the Blues. They will get another one in the attacking zone. But they just can't win their own ball. But this takes courage. You leave yourself so vulnerable. Both players are up. Grace lead up as well. So vulnerable to the drive if you go up in that zone. But the Crusaders, 
they can feel that they are winning that battle and they're going to keep going at it. Well, that tells you that Sam Whitelock thinks he's got them figured out. Yep. Well, Satutu, big roar goes up from the crowd and choke barrels away down the front of the line out. And, well, there's that penalty. Hands on the ball at the ruck. How quick did he get off the ground? So Sam Whitelock went up, he competed. So Tutu this time got in front of him. They secured it, but it was a little messy, so it meant that Choate had to go down the front. So watch Whitelock. He's up, then he's off, off the ground, back around, bang, the on the ball. Team. Quick as a flash. Oh, he's a professor at the line out time, isn't he? Absolutely brilliant, reading the blues, but then reading that situation as well. Marshall knowing where the tackle is going to be and getting over their ball and competing. And it is done in the lead up to the semi final. But no way he was going to miss the big show. 23rd playoff appearance for Sam Whitelock tonight, equaling the record of Richie McCaw. Well, Barrett is at the front. Still just three points in it. No hands! After 22 minutes, mostly of Crusaders' attack. No, it's not. It's not. Use it, nine! Paul puts one high. Barrett coming forward. Again, it's another no, contestable no kick, but it's been knocked on by the Crusaders. Knock on. And so they'll come back for the scrum, which is a far more comfortable place for the Blues to be than a line-out right now. I like the way the uh, Crusaders are using over. those up and unders, though, TJ. Like you said, contestable. Time off. They're making it a 50-50 ball in these conditions. It's a good option. Ball the scrum. Brent, as soon as we get an advantage, Brent just comes away off. Yeah, yeah, mate. Oh, well, he, he called a uh, second advantage for that as well. So we now two we advantages. Talk about Eden oh, yeah, Park. Yeah. What a yeah. fortress it's been for Great the Blues. Time. The one team that won't fear coming here is the Crusaders. You look back and you've been part of this. The dynasty, the legacy of the Crusaders rugby, always, their ability to win away now. from home. In fact, they're, their first three titles. Yeah, I, I certainly think mentally, it just gives the players an, an edge. It creates an edge being in a fortress like Eden Park. Look at this fabulous shots from our drone showing a full house at Eden Park. And as a player, you know if you're not switched on and don't have that edge about going to a place that is a hostile environment, you'll get left behind in a final. These Crusaders players know what it's like. They've been there before, and I think it creates their momentum going into a final. Won their first three finals away from home. Also won 2017 in Johannesburg against a very highly fancied Lions team. They're in front now, but only by three. Coach! So Tutu got off the scrum nicely from this nice. position earlier in the match. I wonder if he goes there again or he looks to distribute this time. Sit. Uh, to think about it. Christy, though, gets rid of it. Now a little wraparound ball, but it's well read. AJ Lamb, the strength, though, to feed it away. Knock on. Pedal fetter. up. Well, referee's called that knock on. That's on. Getting a little bit tangled there, the Blues. And in these conditions, it was not an easy pass. Let's go, please. Let's it wasn't bad Let's execution. Go. It was just very good defence. That's nice from Barrett. He's gone forward. Sheck's run a good dummy line. But David Harley really didn't get fooled by any decoy runner. He stood straight into the space that AJ Lamb was coming into. And they completely shut it down at source, which forced then the Blues to try and create something off slow ball, which they're unable to do. Stephen Perofeta complaining that that ball didn't go forward. And so what it means now is the Crusaders have a scrum. Coach! And it's their first beat of the night. Boom! Six! Great. Looks set to take it off the back. Well, Hall did well to pick up a low one. Jordan into the play again. Jabs the kick down the touch. Drives the Blues back into the 22. And they'll have to throw to another line out. 
Yeah, we have a line out. Well, the Blues' answer is to go quickly. And yeah, Robinson it was. OK, release! Release! They had a crucial steal last week against the Brumbies, Tom Robinson. And have to work it away to get a good angle for the clearance. Finley Christie. And his last one was a good one. There's a look over the bonnet. And this one, well, it's gone high to Leah. Well, it didn't go into touch in the end. Sent back in field by Jordan. Here's Sebu Reese. And around the world in 80 ways, but eventually takes it to ground. More yeah, yeah, well, That one's gone very high, but beautifully followed up by David Havili. They are turning those kicks into gold, the Crusaders. Reese now. Off he goes again. Not getting through there. Jaeger calling for it. Quickly, oh, he's got good hands, Oli Jaeger. Now the width, Havili. Jordan, Fanga Anuku. That's a good battle out on the wing. He's a real threat. Now Jaeger, this time, bring him down, bring showing him down. his strength. The ball ripped away from him, picking it up as no, Bryce. Backwards. Talia, well, tried to dig in for it. Now the advantage goes to the Crusaders. Havili jabs one and finds a bit of space at the back. Mong has got it. And he hangs on to it too in the attempted tackle. Now Jordan, Havili, he's put on the ground. They're just five metres away. They're short on the right. No advantage, knock on. It was knocked on, so they'll come back for the penalty. Oh, the skills. The Crusaders. The way that they are showing and mirroring different options at the defence blues, uh, at the defence of the blues. He stays in really nicely here, firing a Nuku. And then the nice little pop over the top. Havili, how influential has he been to Moonga, who was in the mid midfield? I'm, I'm seeing the if he could have got that off laid away, the here's the knock on from Havili to Taylor. He was in for all money. Man, they are challenging in all departments, the Crusaders. Yeah, the multiple guys, options with the kick, though. This guy's been fantastic, whether it be kicking from the corner in a 50 20 of those little chips in behind. They were exposed, weren't they? The Blues there for a little bit. And Richie Moonga nearly made them pay. Well, now he's going to try and make them pay from the tee. Amazing, we've had quite relentless rain. How are we doing, boys, in terms of space? Every day this week it's rained in yeah, Auckland. Okay. It was raining early on. It comes, we're getting balance. Seems to have cleared up now, touch wood. But when you consider the amount of moisture around... Yeah, no, that was, that was good, there was a dominance the, the here. Quality, no. well, no, the quality, the skills and the adventure again. still that we're I seeing from these teams, it's, it's terrific. Absolutely right it is. Right spot. And again, you're going to have stages... He's on the wrong side. In big Just finals, we've got right to play side, in the right areas of the field, which will create I think it was you. some kicking. But I think the kicking so far, particularly from the Crusaders, is to get the ball back. It's not negative by any means. Now well, the crowd starting to set up a dinner. You really don't like to hear this, but... That's what happens when excitement is high. Richie Mong, it's not going to bother him one little bit. Nailed a superb drop goal to open the scoring. Now the attempt from the tee. Richie Moonga makes it 6-0 to the Crusaders at Eden Park in the Super Rugby Pacific Final. An absolute study in concentration. Cullen Grace back on the ball. Ten minutes to play first half. Six points, not a lot to show for all the play they've made. The last ten minutes of the half are going to be crucial. Barrett has it for the Blues. Talia, oh, a great tackle made by Goodhue. 
Got a quick hands here, and eventually it's Akira Ioane, as he loves to do, rampaging down the right wing. There for Christie. Well, they're feeding on scraps. What can they make of it? Tuivasa Shek trying to get on the outside. Oh, great tackle made by David Havili. He almost got around him. They bring it back open. Good cue. Short pass away to Hodgman. That's halfway. Barrett almost standing still. Bangs one high. Coming forward. Oh, Rico Ioane knew he wasn't going to get to him. Held off, made the tackle. And it's back to Hall. Okay, Red White in front. Wait. Right. Trying to find some space between Barrett and Pedro Feta. Barrett brings it out. Now he He's goes on. for distance. He's always hit that pretty well, but Sevi Reese gets back. Knew there was a threat of a 50-22. Reese. Well, that's gone straight to Christie. Evades him neatly. Lambs down all then he loses it over the touchline. Does he? Knock on. Well, I thought for a moment they were going to play it off. So it's a scrum. OK, it's not direct to touch. It's not direct to touch. Well, I think AJ Lamb lost this one. TJ, good covering back as the halfbacks are doing. Finlay Christie, little slip of them. It's a little opportunity right here, and unfortunately, AJ Lamb just couldn't take it. Crusaders. He's just Crusaders tumbling ball. over the leg of Jack Goodhue, wasn't he? Well, look at those stats for the Crusaders. Possession 64, territory 73, and they've been camped down in the Blues 22, so they've been dominating the game. They certainly are operating with a mountain of possession, the Crusaders. It's forced the Blues into having to make a lot of tackles. What is remarkable is that they've held the Blues scoreless. Yeah. And, and the Blues, particularly in the second quarters of games this year, have been lethal. And they haven't been able to score anything. Fine! And this is where the Blues are very good. Second quarter, they're first in the comp. They've been shut out of the game. Not so much the defence of the Crusaders, although that's been very good. It's just the way they have absolutely dominated the ball on attack. That was, that was his own leg. Sends it back to his captain, Barrett. Don't use your hands. Yep. Now Moonga looking for an angle. Finds one, too. Oh, that's another brilliant kick. Yep. Take him back. Although that's not Blue the 50-22 the take Crusaders it, fans it, were hoping for, but it sends the Blues back inside their 22 again. Stay here, George. Again. Okay, stay here, Red. Blues want forward. to get the line out in quickly before the Crusaders get set. They haven't been able to do it this time. Nikita <laughs> Ioane towards the front. Robinson, oh, they've overthrown it, and George Bauer's got it. The line-out's a disaster for the Blues. Hoskins, Satudu, though, makes amends with a penalty. Boy, oh boy, they needed that. They had a mountain of players out to the left, the Crusaders, if they could have got that recycle. The Blues, to their credit, flooded a couple of numbers in there, and in particular, Hoskins, Satudu who got his hands immediately on the ball and really, to be perfectly honest, basically saved the day. Yeah, well, this final's about moments, and that's a massive one again from the Blues, and this is a massive one here. Got out his jumper. Well, that's gone way over the top, too. He must have shot with a ball, squirts out of his hands. Matera says thanks very much, and he's going to come again. Oh, he did well, Gucci, to release the ball, but eventually it goes over the touchline. A attempt by Bowden Barrett to hack it downfield. No on defence in the 22. We're happy with that as advantage over. Right. Well, that's been their best not source not of line out ball, Justin. The long one over the back. It has. Over there, advantage over. But again, out. still problematic because two of us are shit, couldn't handle it. So that culminates in more pressure. So they're not getting this area right at all, the Blues, regardless of where it goes. Crusader suggesting there wasn't enough advantage from that. But the referee said he was happy. Bonus Robinson, well, that's more and like it from the Blues. And there's a penalty advantage, advantage here. Satutu. It's very untidy. 
Barrett scythed down by Havili. You come in the side. It's a penalty. Uh, Sam's coming aside. Sam Whitelock. Moore was formed on the side. Just his presence. You know, he, he certainly now in veteran status, Sam Whitelock, but just his mere presence. Justin, what does that mean to the team? Just, it's just his competitiveness and his work rate. You know, for all of those finals, all those rugby games that he's played, he always just did, always nearly plays 80 minutes. He just wants to keep going and going and going. His drive is incredible. A shiner to go with his bung thumb. Eklund Robinson wins it. So there's two lineouts in a row for the Blues. Christie. Ball was out, ball was out. Oh, untidy again. They did well not to lose that. They're just hesitant at the moment. Swarming Crusaders defence. Matira. He got in there, but not to the satisfaction of the referee. Tui Vasashek, what can he come up with? Good tackle by Cody Taylor. If the Blues could strike before half-time, they'd go in absolutely elated. But the ball's been lost by Goodhue. And now it's a penalty. You can't play that a second time on the ground. They have the knock-on advantage, you've played on the ground. I think what's really clear Number is three, a, a being the forced into out, being the individuals, the Blues. Because the Crusaders' line speed is shutting them down, so they're not able to get their flow going by, by, by passing, by post-contact passes, bending the line. So they're then just shoveling it on and expecting and trying to get individuals to provide something miraculous because the Crusaders' defence is frustrating them into the doing that. Crusaders walk slowly to the line out, are looking for one more score just to put the first half to bed. Barrett wins it. Now they start to drive ahead. No! Back round! Getting some momentum here now, too. Keep working, says Bryn Hall. Now he's got hands on it. Fires it away, or switch of direction from Moana. Turns it back on the inside. Fire Anuku runs onto it at speed. He looks so good when he's doing that. They come out to meet Oli Jaeger, but they're on the 22 again, the Crusaders. Getting to know every blade of grass in this part of the ground. Havili presents it nicely behind him. Barrett pressing now towards the end of the first half. Matira Bauer waiting for it. He had Moonga with him, but opted to take it to ground. Jordan can't squeeze his way through there. No, no hands. And now the goal line is just five metres away. Leave him, leave him. Take a step. Christie. Reese goes into play halfback. Whitelock is there. Choke makes the tackle. Use it, nine. Hall getting organised. Potter players away to the right. Scott Barrett is there. Satutu getting up very slowly. Matira hammering away. Can they kick the door in again before half time? Advantage to the Crusaders. It's against Rico Ioani. Moonga turns the ball back. Fainga and Nuku. Oh, boy, they stopped him again. They have just the short line. The numbers are there. Matera can't make it. Hall puts it on the line. It's a try. It's a try to Brent Hall. And now the Crusaders have a scoreline to go with their dominance. What a moment. What a moment on halftime. The Crusaders patient. Over 10 phases. It was brutal at times, just carrying the ball hard. And then when they needed a little bit of magic under advantage, Richie Moonga, who's been outstanding this half, drifted across field, then turned it back into Fyanganuku. With all of his power, how good has he been in this half? 
They have a go short with Matera. He doesn't quite get there, but all the experience of Brent Hall does. Oh, a massive moment in the final. Oh, you'd appreciate this too, Mark. His distribution has been fantastic, Brent Hall. But his opportunity, he sees it right there, half a hole, and he takes, and that's what they needed to finalise this first half. Well, it's 11 to nil. Play on, Tell you something about the nil in just a moment. Boys, we'll wait for the kick from Richie Moonga. Moonga adds the conversion. It's 13 to nil at half time. For the first time since 2015, the Blues have been kept scoreless in a half of rugby. And what a time for it to happen. The Super Rugby Pacific first half of the grand final has belonged to the Crusaders and they lead at the break by 13 to nil. to two to an HIA what can the Blues do to bring some order it's been a 40 minutes dominated by the Crusaders showing all of their champion qualities unrelenting pressure and a 13 mil lead well it's not a huge lead but it just seems bigger than 13 points at the moment Hall Kick to Pedro Feta, but oh, what a tackle nailed by Tom Christie. Now Finley Christie. Hodgman with the carry. Treasure the ball. The words of Dan Halanahu, the Blues assistant coach. Choate has it. They just looked at times at sixes and sevens in the first half. They were thrown off their game by the Crusaders, but they're not out of this yet. They need to strike early, though. You'd have to think. Building something here. He saw them coming up, Barrett, so he took the line on. No, no, no. Eklund is there. You'll need some support here. No, it's Ruck, Ruck. Sam Whitelock trying to get his mitts on the ball. Pedal Fetter staying up in the line. Oh, that was a late decision to pass. Dalton Papali wasn't ready for it, and the ball goes over the touchline. That's not treasuring the ball. That's what they need to do, the Blues. On to their eighth phase, and that's when they... Okay. Starting to get the defence fatigue, and that's when the execution needs to be spot on. It wasn't in the first half. I've talked about it at half time, but unfortunately, straight after half time, they're having the same problems. Don't take it quick. Sit up. Okay, good space. Line out, cold. Well, Crusaders had the option of a scrum, but not surprisingly, they've gone for the line out. They've won all their own, and they've nicked five off the Blues this in the, the first half. Blues in the end just didn't know where to look at line out time. And up goes the imperious figure of Sam Whitelock. Cody Taylor takes it to the short side. Fang on look well, he's looked dangerous, but not on that occasion. He goes back and tidies up his own mess. He's done really well. He's got them the ball back. David Havili sends it deep, and what a first 40 he had. Barrett as it slips, and rather hurriedly had to get the kick away, and he's kicked it straight to Will Jordan. Uh, will he take them on? The brilliant young fullback, uh, tipped up by Rico Iwani. Blues haven't been able to counter-ruck the way they did so effectively against the Brumbies last week. Hall, Maunga, 
Now Tom Christie. Moonga again. Now Faina Anuku looking to get on the outside. And well, a good tackle made. Dragged into touch. Yeah, just a heads up size line here, TJ. Hoskins and Tutu's coming back on. For the skipper Dalton Papali. He is the great defense. It was half a hole on the outside that he got, but Talia does fantastically well to take him down. Way outside. They just look so assured, the Crusaders in their shape. Maganuku that time holding his width on the wing. Really good tackle from Talia that needed to be made. Their balance is really good. They've got a really stiffing in as a kicker, kicking when they need him to. And most importantly, it's keeping them in the right areas of the field. They're constantly pegging the Blues back to this part of the field where they're having to work their way down the field to try and get some attack in some shape. Well, have they sorted their line out up? No. Crusaders challenge. They take another one off the Blues. And they go on to the attack again. Paul Bauer. Trying to rip the ball away from him was Ioane Whitelock. Choke. He's made a huge number of tackles in this game. I'm a tear up. Storming. Coming for Hall. Yeah, he's milked out nicely. They give it to Barrett. Takes a charge at them. Matira. Crusaders looking for points early in the second half. Just to ram home their advantage. Kick through from Moonga. Carried back by Lamb. They'll go back for the penalty. Wait, wait. No, no. Oh, they just keep aiming up Top the off. Crusaders physically. Throwing themselves at that defensive system of the Blues. Matera, I think he's the man down at the moment. But just always a volunteer, always somebody who's wanting to carry. And they're carrying hard and getting good quick ball because of it. And it's just stressing that Blues defence into giving away penalties. But even the option there, Marshall, you can see he was looking to pass first and foremost, Richie Moong, and then puts it to the toe. Once again, it just applies pressure. That line-out steal by Cullen Grace, rated by his coach, Scott Robertson, as one of the best line-out forwards in the game. And now, I think, inevitably, they go to Luke Romano. Yeah, on the jersey 19 also, Dalton Papali'i has replaced Choke. And it looks like Bryce Heath, he's about to be injected as well in jersey 22. Wait and see who's coming off. Roger Tuivasa-Shek is coming off for Bryce Heat. That's a big call. Tuivasa-Shek, what a great sight it is, and we're so lucky that the weather has cleared. Whether this might be an injury call. Oh, well, either that, or they're looking to try and get some genuine momentum into their attack with some just brutal raw power in Bryce Heem to carry really hard at that Crusaders defensive line to get it to buckle because at the moment it is, it is not buckling and because of that they can't get some of their key players into the game with quick ball. So maybe that's why they've made that significant change. Well, just a sign here that this is the final. Richie Moonga edging towards Dan Carter's mark of 69 points in finals rugby. Chance for the first points of the second half. for Richie Moonga. Uh, Richie, uh, 16 to nil the score. And what's significant about that, TJ? Make, takes it out to that three score lead in the grand final. Mentally, that is massive. Oh, the Blues still not on the board. I mentioned Seven years since the last time they were held scoreless in a half. At Eden Park, that is. 
Martin side. Hey, hey, one, one. Just Alex. Being reminded. So careful, very Mark careful. Mark at Eden Park, which is the fortress. But at the moment, it's the Crusaders. They've more than laid siege to Eden Park. What can Romano do? And again, it's an absolute mess. And away comes Cody Taylor. And Bryn Hall sends it deep. Having to go all the way back. Oh, missing it was Ioane picked up by Reese. Eklund trying to work the turnover. Pass. Back between the legs from Bryn Hall. Oh, Brilliant pass by the first half try scorer. Referee's playing Henry advantage. Bunch. Hall sends it out the back. Sebu Reese. Here they come again. Batira waiting for it. They go to Barrett. Barreling towards the line. Almost. Hall. Now White Lock. Score here. And you'd have to say the final is right in their grasp. Barrett waiting for it. They come out and grab him. They're holding. Now they go back the other way. Jaeger. Hall tied up. So Grace it is. You still got the penalty. Still playing advantage to the Crusaders referee Ben O'Keefe. Hall tries a drop kick. And the ball sits up for Jordan. They will come back for the no penalty. Advantage. Ten, you're offside of the last rock. Yeah. Really clever kick here. from Bryn Hall. The Crusaders' chase was outstanding. Akira Iwane was in a foot race with Richie Moonga. Amongst those, I think Sebu Reese was there. They managed to win that battle with the ball on the ground. And from there, they just kept hammering and hammering and hammering away. Won this penalty. And now massive conversations as to what they're going to go to. I am not surprised to see this. The leadership in this team... The Crusaders looking to really make a statement here and going a long way to win the final if they can execute from this position. Yeah, just their clarity around what they're going to do in certain Come situations. Here's the chase Come. you were talking Everyone about. It took a wicked right bounce. Sebi Reese there amongst okay. it, and just from there, there just the heavy carry coming forward from here. the Crusaders. Brilliant. Time's up. Well, you Time's can up. see Luke Romano, Romano there was not happy with the lift. See, see if you can do it now. Yeah, see yeah, if you can do it now. Yeah. I think Kurt Etlin was the one that reeled away from one of those right. tackles and looks like he's going to be replacing Jersey 16 by Suwani Vikina. Well, have not gone to the bench yet, the Crusaders. Plenty of firepower there. To Mighty Williams, Fletch and Newell, some of the young guns. Keep your eye on as well when the Crusaders get set here. Leicester Fyinga Nuku will go to the front of the line-out. As we look at the problem for Eklund, you're just you're a clash good. with Rico Ioane, friendly fire. Tom, you're good. That's resulted you're good. in him having yep. to leave the field for an HIA. Right. They scrambled well there, the Blues. Like when you need to step up in finals under massive pressure like they were on their own goal line, they did stand up. Albeit they did give this penalty away, so another opportunity for the Crusaders. Yes, looks like Kurt Egan's going to stay on the field here too, Marshy, for this all important line out here. Well, they Good. really are looking to boot the door in the here. So ready. Those stats say everything. Look at that time in the opposition 22. Hold them, hold them. Less than a minute for the Blues, nearly hold eight them, for the them, Crusaders. And there's Fire Nuku at the front. Wait, wait. He can either bounce out off the yep, tail or get involved in the drive should they decide to set that up. Christie's in at halfback. Grace again. Down they funnel it back Down to Cody rim. Taylor. Here is Fainer Anuku. Tackle made by Bowden Barrett. Blues try to counter ruck. There it is. But the Crusaders bring it under control. And Barrett picks it up. Grabbing towards the line. Jaeger has a go. Keep back, Blue. 
Blues have had to do so much of this tonight. Energy sapping defeat. Scott Barrett trying to stretch out, drive himself over the line. Held up on the line. There's the line there. It's held up. Can we go and drop out? Well, some respect for the Blues, but not much. He had a genuine dig, did Scott Barrett. No, no, it was there. I saw it there. Got over the line eventually, but too many Blues defenders there. That results in a goal line dropout, so a little bit of reprieve for the Blues. Resilient on defence at the moment. Scott Barrett, his brother, will drop kick out. Brothers, his opposing captains. Al Jordan. He's threatened all night, hasn't broken through yet. But you're just waiting for the moment. Moonga, could you? He's been rock solid. Barrett. The hall. Moonga sensed a little gap. He's lost it in contact though. Yeah, there's two players there off their feet, blue and red. I'm just going to go with the knock on. I mentioned the brothers as opposing captains. And, uh, doesn't happen very often in a match of this magnitude. In fact, I think you have to go back to about the early 60s when Bob Graham was captain of Auckland and the late great John Graham was captain of Canterbury in a Ranfurly Shield game and attracted a crowd similar size to this. Auckland won on that day. Bowden Barrett, Marshy really just has had no ability or no opportunity to influence this game in the way that Richie Moore is. No, it certainly hasn't because he's not A, in the right parts of the field to be able to do that and B, they haven't been able to create any really good momentum from okay, their... we're going to restart. we made the sub. ...from their ruck ball. Crusaders, you made the sub. Let's restart. The Crusaders, oh, sorry. Where he can rifle onto it. No problem, KT, what's happening down there? No, uh, the Crusaders gone to their bench for the first time. Mine jersey 18, Fletcher Newell, and he's replacing the very impressive Oli Yaga. Yeah, another really good shift from... Crusaders, Irish front row. Once again, the Blues have to start deep inside their own half. They get a free kick. Early. Guys, we don't have space on that side either, and we're early. Okay, next one's a penalty. I think that's what the Blues are hoping for. They'll call another scrum. Yeah, I'm not just penalising him, but you guys, you've got to have a gap here this side as well, George. All right. There's still a lot of time here, TJ, for good this space, Blues team, balance. so they don't have to run up from everywhere. They can still get in better areas. Just have to be smart when they do kick and when they do choose to attack, they have to be clear where they're trying to attack it. Yeah, you just wonder what one score might do, but the trouble is they're just not getting the opportunity. Crouch! Fines! Set! Quick heel. Scrum starts to retreat. Scrambled away. Now Rico Ioani can't get past Havili. He's had a no. tremendous game. Second man in. Oh, they've got a penalty advantage here. Crowd urging the Blues on. They get a penalty. The ruck had already formed you. The second man in. Hands in the ruck. Ruck had already formed. Bowden. I think some big changes are going to come for the Blues. Here, TJ, after this ball goes out, it's going to be the whole front row. So, on a jersey, 16, Swane Vukina, 17, Kyle Tu, Nukuwafi, and 18, Opa, okay, Tumapasi. One, two, three, blue. Hey, folks, up. Fassi, jersey 18, Kyle Tu, and Nukuwafi. That will be his final game for the Blues. Jersey 17. And Swane Vukina will have to be on the money at line out time. Time on, keep that space. 
Again, the best ball is the one in the midfield, and Bryce Heen gets them on the front foot. Now Romano against the team he played four on 136 occasions. Barrett starting to ghost towards the advantage line, but a quick pass on just has come unstuck, and now scooped up by Moonga, sends it away downfield. Heen going back, it's got awkward on him. And, uh, well, he's absolutely flattened here as Seville Reese. A bit of pushing and shoving. Cody Taylor getting involved. And Tom Robinson took exception to that. Yeah. No, no. Uh, to be perfectly honest, it's taken a while for there to be a bit of niggle. No, go back. Would have expected it a lot earlier. Perhaps that's what the Blues need to get their blood boiling a bit. Because at the moment, they are just slightly off. The Crusaders defence is in their face, making them try to get passes right, try to get running lines bang on. Tom's running afterwards as well. Okay. And it's not happening for them right now. Players running in after the whistle. That's when we reverse penalties. That's when we get some players off. Okay. It's a genuine push. So you can see why they brought um, Bryce Heem on. Though that was a good carry off the back of that line out, put them well over the advantage line. So the penalty's going to go to the Blues for the push off the ball. You feel this might be the main momentum shift just speaking about Marshy for the Blues that they needed. Yeah, they need something. Keep your space, Red. Keep your space. The fire in the belly might go a long way. Again, they go deep. And it's knocked back on the Blues side, but not forward initially. Well, that time the Crusaders were ready for it. I'm not sure who defensively they put off the tail, but who is it? Oh, it's Cody Taylor. So Cody Taylor said, right, oh, you've gone there a couple of times now. I need to make sure that I'm aware, and I shut down that space, and he was. He was right in the zone where the ball was landing for him, got his body in the way. And once again, the Blues have turned it over from line out. How good is that, though, Marshy, to make that in-game change just like that and read it? You know, that's the experience that these guys in Sam Whitelock have. Absolutely. You know, his role off the tail of the line out there when he's defending is to make sure any peel or a player that comes even a winger on the inside off half or half running that around that Play tail of the line out that's his zone to shut it down so he's just used his experience to say i don't feel it's going there i can see the shift in the line out and i'm going to go out and shut it down where that's i think fine. they're that's going to go uncoachable that sort of stuff you guys, Cody Taylor. okay and good balance well that's the seventh time tonight that the blues have failed to secure their own line-out ball. What a difference in the possession stats that could have made. Crusaders have disrupted Come on, we're good to go, Crusaders. and dismantled. Let's go. And Seba Reese starting to get very vocal out there. He is one of the energizers in this team. I like the setup for the Crusaders. It's more about on the short, narrow south side. Rip puts real pressure on Akira Iwani to bounce out should it go his way. He had to go around behind the scrum in the end, did Cullen Grace. Stuck with the plan, kicked it down to Barrett. And he's going to run and then kick. Floating it towards the touchline, but Jordan is there. Sends a towering Stay punt in, down towards the 22. Yep. Nicely taken by Pedal Feta. Or oh, kick charge, but that's put on the Blues. Blues on. Sitongu's grabbed it for the Blues. Good hands too on the inside from Lamb. And now maybe the chance for the home team. Not a great ball, no. but it's picked up on the bounce by Bryce Heen. Hold back. Now they've got the front foot. Charge from Tuonga Fussy. Barrett is there. That little change of direction. Vic Kenner to the 22. No. Lost there. Blue ball there. Well, Finley Christie didn't slow down as he had to extricate himself. They go back to Tuonga Fussy. Well, oh. reaching through was Barrett. Well, uh, worth another look at that. That's quite a steal and a heck of a kick, too. And Stephen Perel fed up. Well, they have to start from deep again. Nice little no look ball to Telia. But how good's the tackling oh, been? Not on the ball. Moonga that time. 
one. Just no numbers away here to the right. But Dalton Tuffley, but look at the speed of the skipper. Dalton Tuffley, now he holds it up. And power ahead in the tackle. What a run. Scrambled away by Christie. Picked up by Barrett. Oh, oh then dropped. But the referee's playing advantage here. Well, breathtaking stuff, and, and at the, the end of it, the Blues get a penalty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where does Dalton Popoli get that speed from? Acceleration, quick tap, Bowden Barrett. Sliding as he went into contact. Romano, well, this is it. They know the Blues. They have to strike here. Akira Ioane, if there's any way back into the game, this is it. Vikena. Takes a roll. Christie, well, impeded as he tried to get the ball away. It was knocked on. More defence from the Crusaders. Okay, use it! And they'll just calm things down here. Great, so it's not a great cut. David Harvey has to run behind the goal line. But the referee was playing advantage for a knock on as Finley Christie was impeded as he tried to clear that ball away. Yeah, he got his arm grabbed. No, yeah, but he'd already, Dalton, he'd already lifted the ball, and the player was onside. Here's the explanation. So, he found he already lifted it. the ball. This breakout from Dalton Papa leading. Got some red a step. Off. Acceleration. He gets Will Jordan on the outside, gets a fend on him, but watch the power guys, to stay in the fight. The ball, the ball gets rid of Jordan. Well, you're looking to try to drag that him is down. Good. That is excellent. Okay. I certainly think. Yeah, I agree. From when they shifted it across to the midfield, the won the penalty. They pretty much have resigned the fact that their line-out is just so dysfunctional. That's why Bowden Barrett decided to quick tap it. They just don't have the faith in the line-out to kick the touch. Yeah, the Crusaders are going to make three changes here, Marshy. Bryn Hall has gone replaced with Jersey 2-1 by Mitch Drummond. 16's on Brody McAllister for uh, Cody Tay and also Tamaiti Williams. He's joined the fray, the big man as well, replacing George Bell. So Bryn Hall leaves the field as a Crusader for the last time. Coach! And head off to Japan. Outstanding performance Five. as well from all those players, but Bryn Hall, I thought this evening Six. was exceptional. Well, here's his replacement, Mitch Drummond. Look at Christie though, coming right there. He's picked it up, he's in, the Blues are back in it. Ho oh, ho ho! Wow, 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 Finley Christie. They needed something. And the catalyst for it has been Finley Christie. He's been at the forefront of everything that's been so good about the Blues this year. And when they needed a moment, and boy, did they need a moment. He gets through on to Cullen Grace, picks up the ball and has enough momentum to slide over. They're back in at the Blues. Individual brilliance from Finlay Chris. He read the situation, read the timing, and that's the momentum shift this crowd and Blues needed. Stephen Perifetta converts. It's 16 to 7 at Eaton Park in the Super Rugby Pacific final. Hey boys, you front rows. Outstanding awareness from Christie. Not only the execution to be able to put Grace under enough pressure that he shelled the ball, but then to stay on his feet and stay in the fight. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Spins around 180. And he manages then, with his acceleration, to slide over. So the Crusaders restart. Stephen Perofeta fires it away. Bryce Heem is there. No, not seven. Now the Blues they don't need to go crazy. 16, let him go. Looking after the ball, treasuring it will be the key here as they just look to build on that strike back. Will Jordan just out from his 22. He's been getting tremendous height on his kicks tonight. There's Go, another keep coming, keep soaring coming. kick, but Pedal yep. Fetter reads it nicely and sets off. Sells a dummy, breaks up the middle. Crowd really have found their voice now, but they've turned it over, the Crusaders. Uh, Sam Whitelock got involved. And 
just as the Blues were building momentum again. Turnover possession. Jordan Maunga this time ranging out wide. Matira. Fainga Anuku. Pass back on the inside. Goodhue is there. Well, it really is turning into a pulsating final now. Fletcher Newell, no way through there, and runs into a very solid figure of Suwani Vikena. Williams, nice hands from the big prop. Cullen Grace now, lengthening stride. Terrell Fetter trying to get in and win. They've got the turnover, they've got the penalty at the breakdown. Well, they've upped their tempo. No, no, he's fine. He's I certainly feel that they've upped their tempo at the breakdown. The Blues, they are starting to now just cause a little bit of stress in that Crusaders line speed. Bowden Barrett's getting on with the job. Yeah, big point of difference now needs to be their line out. Can they get some momentum from line out? That'll help. Time you don't actually have to throw the ball into the line, it's going to help for the Blues. They get a free kick. They call the scrum of Dalton Papali'i back on the field. Remember that run that he made. He's clearly moved down and everyone shifted down. Then Blues have to move. Head now while we're waiting for the scrum. Tamati Ellison from the Crusaders joins us. Kelda Tamati. Well, Blues have got the try. What's the key? To holding out and hanging on for the win here. Getting control of the game back. Um, going back to our collisions, making sure we put them on the ground. Discipline, making sure we're clearly onside. Keep coming forward. You're confident, mate. Your team so adept at playing the big moments. Fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're confident doing our job, so we've got to keep going. Mummy Hinu, Kara, Tamari. Tenakwe. So he just lost his opening, Corinth Tamati Ellison. But they've been here before. They've been to this dance so many times. But there is a bit of a buzz about it now. It has changed. The Crusaders are painting a massive picture here for Bowden Barrett for a 50 22. There's massive space in behind Lester Fryang and Nuku. It's just whether or not he wants to have the ambition to go there. You know, like getting that territory is all about them then being able to execute off line out, as I mentioned. They looked best in this game when they went to tempo in the lineout. So maybe Robinson walking in, getting the timing with Vikena, and just getting on with it. The more static they are, the harder they found it. But that picture that is there that the Crusaders are painting is, well, there's the space, mate. If you want to go there and go for a lineout inside our 22, go for your life. Well, they haven't had many opportunities to attack from these positions here, Marsh. He's going to have AJ Lamb on the inside. He's got Bryson. He's already shown that he can carry, carry pretty heavy on the outside of him, so I think they keep this ball in hand. They have to. Balance before the ball's in, both teams. 16 minutes to play in the final. Crusaders lead 16 to 7. Crouch! Five. Blues trying to end a 19-year wait for a full Game Super Rugby five. title. Well, how's that for a scrum from the Crusaders? They step it up. The new men came on for the Blues and they've been demolished. Well, two All Black props come into the mix. And they've had a number done on them big time. And that is such a massive penalty too in change of momentum because think back, it was the Blues that opted for the scrum because of the free kick from the line out. Sure, thinking that they could get that secured and now the Crusaders are trying to try and rub salt into their already gaping wound by trying to bang three over. Well, I mentioned the two all-black props. How about that from the young Tyros? The giant Tamaiti Williams and Fletcher Newell. There is the man who went to St Kent's. In Auckland before he was spotted by the Crusaders organisation. Yep, just made the Māori All Blacks too, TJ, so he'll be aiming up against Ireland pretty soon. There's a slight breeze in behind Richie Moore here, so I don't think length will be too much of a drama. 
Yeah, he likes just bringing it off in his right shoulder, Richie Moonga. That's his shape, so he'll sort of be bending it in from that right hand upright. Gives you just a little bit more distance too when you've got that right to left shape. Huge kick. In every way. This just takes some momentum away from the Blues if it goes over. 47 on the angle. Well, he's been perfect so far tonight, but that one has not found the distance. And Bowden Barrett hacks the kick away down to the 10 metre mark where it's grabbed by Lester Fainga Anuku. Throws himself at the defensive line. So there's the first miss from Moonga. Good cue. Williams. Went hard at Vikena. Drummond. Now Whitelock. Kiriwani trying to affect the turnover. Oh, clever from Moonga. Although then he runs into a big tackle of Carl Tui Nukuafe. Drummond emerges with it though. Jordan trying to straighten. Newell calling for it. And he gets it. No hands, it's a rock. A young man from Rangiora High School. Now Moonga sends it high. Pedal Fetter coming forward. Oh, he's done brilliantly. Pedal Fetter under great pressure from Fainga Anuku. And the Blues get the ball back. To Inuku Wafe. Gets past the tackle of Cullen Gracie. Looks a little sore. Romano now. That familiar tuck and run. Actually coming out. No, it was knocked on. A little bobble in there. He got the call, I think, from Nick Berry on the sideline. He was on the ground. So I'm off 11 and 12 up. Fantastic leap there from Stephen Petalfet to regain position. There's a little knock on right there from Romano. And the Crusaders going to make a couple of changes. A very impressive David Harvilli. He has gone replaced in Jersey 22 by Braden Enor. And also 23, George Bridge has come onto the field for the newly capped all black Leicester fine yeah, right. in, then oh, we There's work. two outstanding yeah, performers fine. right there. Keep it straight, keep it up. David Harvelli and Leicester Fine. You guys work to it. What performances from both of those men. Uh, Havili stood out in every way, hasn't he? Yeah, he did. He, he, ball in hand is kicking. He's taken pressure off Maunga when it's needed to be done. Defensively. Yep. There's nothing, absolutely nothing through that zone. Absolute class. That's fine. That's fine. Work out your balance so we get it right. Now. Keep your space. Keep your balance. Can the Blues and their two all-black props get something back here? Well, you know what the Crusaders' mindset will be. Scrum first, big time. They will be going hard at a penalty. Crouch! Now the Blues start to put a shove on. Ioannis come through, hacked away downfield by Christie. Sprinting back is Richie Moonga. Oh. He gets away from Christie and then Can't on the come. outside of the boot sends the ball back down towards halfway. But Barrett is there. Make it back. Vikena. The young Rhino charges hard to Ungafasi. Robinson now. Just over 10 to play. Blues looking for a second try and a chance to do something quite remarkable. Romano only knows one way. Straight ahead. Barrett. Oh, the ball squirting away from him. Picked up by Newell who shows good speed to get the ball up the halfway. Another Pass. costly turnover. How about the ball from Matera to Jordan? Now Sebu sends it back on the inside. Enor is there. 
Oh, Sebu Reese trying to rip the ball. He's grabbed that on the ground. A bit unlucky, just instinctive, but a penalty against Reese. Oh, they nearly, they nearly got through the Crusaders once again. Some really good scrambling defence from the Blues. The pass, he just left it there. Did Pablo Matera for Will Jordan to punch onto. When he comes onto the ball at momentum, everybody stands up because that spells trouble. But the Blues got across to shut the man down and save the situation once again. Look at the shot though from Brody McAllister. He's the one that turned the ball over. Great hands by front row partner. And then here's the ball coming up. What about this dish? I'm picking that's a pass he wouldn't have thrown a couple of years ago, Pablo Matera. Oh, Robertson, every line out vital now. Here's Lamb. Another good tackle made by Brody McAllister. Robinson met with great force. Christie in there staying strong in contact as well. Akira Ioane, they bring it away to the left. Barrett dinks a little kick in behind Severis. And drilled into touch. Richie Maunga, well... You've got to be careful. I think he was over the touchline before he let it go. I get it. I get it from Bowden Barrett. But there is a time he's going to have to put that boot away right, hold him, hold him. very shortly. That clock is working against them. Big call here from the Blues too. On a jersey 21, Sammy Knock replacing Finlay Christie. He's been fantastic tonight. Well, he's been the man who more than anyone else has given them just a sniff. It will be a penalty if you close. That last one was better. It's a penalty if you close. All right, that last one's a standard. Remember back to March. The Crusaders in Christchurch, beaten by the Blues, 27 to 23. But look at the playoff run that they're on. They had to go to South Africa for that match against the Lions. Well, if they're looking for something, one guy that has not been in this game really is Rico Ioane. I just wonder if they can get a hook on the midfield of the Crusaders. New combo with Good Hugh gone to 12 and Enor. And just get him on an out ball. Get on the outside of his marker with his speed. First things first. Crusaders ready to pounce. And they do yet again. Although it's been knocked on. Well, he said no. He said it's been knocked on by the Blues. No, now he's got it right. Just a little confusion there with his assistant. What's that? 21 knocked on. Blue scrum. Uh, it's a, there'll be a scrum anyway. So they get the opportunity from scrum that that's not been an entirely solid platform either for the Blues since the front rows changed in particular. So they need the platform to try and create that little bit of magic in that outstanding back line. If ever they needed something, that's right here and right now. Keep the balance of the balls in. Well, we're looking at the future here. Fletcher Newell to Mighty Williams. To Inukuafe Tourna Fassi both named this week. In the All Black squad to play Ireland. I want to get this in and out. I think, yep, yeah, taken quickly off the back, and they give it to Lamb, who just goes hard as he can at them. Not digging it out. Akira Ioane makes a couple of metres. Now Toonga Fasi clattering into Whitelock. Quick ball. Now here is Ioane. Driven to the ground, though. Christy trying to get hands on the ball. Wins the penalty. Huge play there from Tom Christie, the top tackler in Super Rugby. And some sort of tackle as well. I think it was Braden Enor. That's the way you tackle. In at the hips, drive the legs, compromise the attacking player. And like any good open side, backing up a very good tackle. He's in and over the ball, Tom Christie. Outstanding defence, team defence, oh, teamwork. Yeah. 100%, Marshy. This dude here showed no emotion. Cold as ice. 
Oh, Christy, massive, massive turnover. He's been absolutely brilliant for them this year, Tom Christie. Give us space, Blue. Come. Look at that work rate. Competition leading 236 tackles in him. I would say he has, there's not many missed ones in there. <laughs> They're all completed tackles, big time. No, it'd be single figures, wouldn't it? You'd have to think. So, McAllister. Well, that's not well done by the Crusaders, but oh, even then, they come up trumps. Great heads-up play by Richie Moonga. He could see a rare line-out mistake by the Crusaders. Now Drummond sends it downfield. And again, the question is asked of the Blues. Hey, Blue, wide in front. Pedal Feta yep. sends it deep. Moonga back there. Seems to be everywhere at the moment. Okay, read out. You got to move out. Sends it high, yep. Jordan to chase. Oh, Barrett's got it though. And not has done well to get back and help out his skipper. Makira Ioane rather wearily getting rid of it. This time he goes in and does what he does better. Although he's scragged and put on the ground by Williams. Yep, yep. Tall the fuss, he just didn't know what to do with it. Ball was up. Ball and Sam was Whitelock's up. just helped himself. Ball was left in. The old master. And again, the Blues, the kick, are in trouble. Knock has to stop. Oh, seven weeks. Oh. Something out of absolutely nothing for the man who does it best. That's gone. That's well and truly yeah, gone. The Crusaders have won another final. Yeah, we'll just be checking paper in front of the track again. They have turned everything, everything into gold all night. The turnover from Mr. Right Inspiration, back. Sam Whitelock. And stand-up, Pablo right Matera. To the Crusaders and in a magic piece of heads up rugby with his left foot through the line. Here's the turnover. The ball is up. It's been handled. White locks through. Gets his hand on it. Offloads it. It comes out. The kick through from Matera. The speed of Seven Reese. The bounce of the rugby ball is there for the Crusaders. Well, we know how about his energy, Seve Reese. Here's the skill from Matera. And here's another piece of skill from Seve Reese on the fly. Pick it up in greasy conditions. No easy sweat, no sweat. They know it. Another final. Big five minutes, guys. For the Crusaders. It'll be their 11th full Super Rugby title, plus to go with the two. COVID affected finals. Seven Reese's try, that is 30 tries scored by that back three of Jordan Feiner and Uku and Reese this season. It's all over now. shows he's human by missing it and there it is you can start yeah, engraving it now it? let's just have a quick look at the space Matera sees as we pause it just now you can see it in behind and Seve Reese is the man out of frame as we roll it on he's still got a mountain to climb Seve Reese it's his speed his speed that gets the job done outstanding and what a quality finish oh, didn't he love it Pablo Matera what a grin Extra yep, big stake for you this week, Pablo. Oh, the Blues go short. Knock the ball back. There's a little knock on there. Well, the Blues threatened to get back into the game. They scored that try. But every time they look to land a blow, they cop one on their own chin. Yeah, right, let's go. Let's hit the scrum. You can't take away... A great winning run, 15 games, but this is the one that matters the most. What, what springs to mind for me is right from the opening kickoff is this Crusaders' performance has been faultless. Like Scott Robertson, Jace Ryan, the Goody, the whole crew have to take credit for the way that they've brought this game plan here, and the players have done it to perfection. Like, they've won the breakdown, they've played in the right areas of the field, 
They've struck when they needed to. It's just been a complete performance. That has been a big part of it, that coaching group. Well, you mentioned Andrew Goodman. He's the man who's actually leading them out of the box there with the cap on. He'll come down to the sideline. This is his last game with the Crusaders as well. He's got a great job. He's going to Leinster in Ireland, and we wish him well because he's had great success with Tasman, as those guys there will tell you. And also on Scott Robertson's staff at the Crusaders. He's going to end on a happy note. Bynes! Sit! Oh, another powerful scrum. They haven't missed a beat since changing out their front row. Blues have got it, though. Akira Ioane beats the first tackle. Out of uh, Scott Barrett. Dalton Papali'i, he looked like he ignited something when he came on. That's not a great pass. At times they've looked quite ragged tonight, the Blues. Not a great time for your line-out to have a complete meltdown. Not a great time to make mistakes that really haven't been part of your game. But that's finals football, isn't it? Referee's playing advantage here. We're inside the last minute. Clear, 16. Akira Ioane takes a tap. Look who's there to tackle him. Tomaiti Williams. Romano. Are these his last moments in Super Rugby? No. Barrett. No, Rico Ioane, lovely change of direction and the offload from Zahn Sullivan, but again, the ball's been ball's lost, out. picked up by Satutu. So the Blues get it back. Can they finish in some sort of style? Can they have the last say? They're going to have to wait another year. There's the siren, Tui Nukawafi, his last carry as a Blue. Romano, nice little shift, but who should be there to pick him to touch but Sebo Reese and the dynasty continues. The first Super Rugby Pacific title goes to the Crusaders, an emphatic 21 to 7 win over the Blues at Eden Park. They really have come the full circle. They've come back to where they won it first in 1998. And this one was hardly ever in doubt, Justin Marshall. They came here with a game plan, the Crusaders, and they executed that game plan to perfection. Whether it was set piece, whether it was defense, whether it was when they got their opportunities with ball in hand, all of those elements pieced together, and then you've got the heart. And that you cannot coach. The heart to get up and go again. The heart to compete at line-out time when you could face the vulnerability of losing a driving ball. They had the courage tonight, the Crusaders. At the cauldron, that is the Garden of Eden, Eden Park, against a team that was on fire. You have to feel for the Blues what a season they have had. Well, let's head down to the sideline now to one of the stars, one of the architects of this Crusaders win. David Havili is with Mills Moliaina. David, how does this compare, bro? You, you, you've done this down before in Christchurch. This is something a little bit different. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Mate, no words to describe this, Mills. It's uh, something very, very special. This one's going to go down as the greats. And, uh, you know, we dug deep. We've had our injuries throughout the year, our losses to come here tonight and get the result we're after was a huge effort from the boys. Let's break that up a little bit because your performance was, was quite remarkable, particularly in that first half. You won the battle in the year, but you also complemented your first five in terms of the kicking game. Outstanding. Yeah, look, you know, if you can take a bit of pressure off Rich, he just plays his game and you've seen that in the big moments, mate, and oh, mate, I can't believe it. You know, it's something dreams are made of, Mills. I want to ask you one particular man. He's leaving the, the, the environment. I know he's been very special to you, Andrew Goodman. How massive has he been and, and, and how much of a loss is he going to be to this fantastic franchise? 
Mate, he's uh, one of the greatest guys you ever meet, and he's probably one of the best coaches I've had. And um, he's had a lot of decisions uh, made by him, and you know I'm so grateful for him to have him in my life, and um, I owe a lot of a lot of these games to him, and um, I'm just grateful he's a part of me. Well, fantastic performance. Well done. Congratulations, David. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Let's throw it over to Joe Wheeler, who's with Sam Whitelock. Oh, Sam, you're Whitelock. You've been in this team a long, long time. But to come up to here, to Eden Park, to continue this dynasty of this great club, how does this one rank for you? Oh, you, you always talk about the next one, and this was that one. We had a, a primo week, um, but it actually summed up the last three weeks. We uh, didn't play that well throughout the season, but we knew we started to have a bit of momentum, and... The boys had a massive effort last week and we really grew on that. In terms of tonight, you guys suffocated this blue side into submission. The line-out played a massive part of that. You're the master of the line-out. What was the plan going into this one? I'd, I'd love to say it was me, but I'm on attack this year. So <laughs> it was actually uh, Quinn Strange and Cully Grace and, and those boys did an awesome job. Um, we just wanted to get up and put pressure. We knew the ball would be a bit greasy up here. And uh, someone like Cully Grace was awesome tonight, just trusted his skill, trusted his ability and put massive pressure on them and that's what got us across the line in the end. For this team, you just keep turning up year after year and keep performing, keep setting the bar so, so high. What's the secret? What's the recipe? Oh, we, we had a, a few of the old boys send us a message and they just talked around effort and that's something that we've always talked about is we've just got to show effort. If we have effort uh, with the ball and without it, you know, you, you've got to trust yourself. And that's what we had to show tonight. Uh, we, we've tried all year, but tonight the effort was awesome. It's not about scoring points. Sometimes it's about s stopping them from scoring. Well, you certainly did that. Make sure that thumbs are right. How's it feeling? Yeah, no, it's all good. The face is a bit sore, but m managed to run into a hip straight at, right at the start. But the way I'm sure the trophy will make it feel better. Well done tonight, and congratulations on another title. KT is standing by with Bowden Barrett from the Blues. Cheers, Joey. Bodie, I know, frustrating for sure. For you, what was the moment you thought that, geez, we're in a fight here? Um, for most of the game, to be honest. We knew that we didn't fire a shot in the first half and we really needed to look hard at ourselves and come up with some solutions, um, you know, to get the ball in play and get into phase because we didn't do that in the first half and we struggled to in the second half. Their defence at set-piece time was exceptional. Yeah, the, the spark that was Finlay Christie, you really get this crowd and you guys a little bit of momentum in there in that little uh, middle part in the second half? Yeah, we, we tried. We knew that we, we had no option but to come out and throw everything at it. So, um, you know, we're going to give everything a crack in that second half because we needed to. And, um, you know, we've got to give credit to the Crusaders because their defensive effort tonight was, was outstanding. And, um, yeah, it's really disappointing. Uh, you know, we, we had a good season, um, we wanted to come here and, and do a job tonight and we felt that we, we didn't achieve that, so it's, um, yeah, it's a tough one to swallow. Yeah, I know it's always tough, especially straight after the fact, you're right, but I just want to touch on the season as a whole. I know you didn't get the chocolates in the final, but I mean, the way the guys are able to galvanise and, and win those uh, games back to back to back on their roll, I mean, you still got to be proud of some of that effort this season. Oh, we will, we will be, we'll stand up um, and be proud. and. Tonight wasn't our night. We simply weren't good enough, and um, we've got to give the Crusaders credit. So, um, yeah, it's disappointing that we let down the fans and uh, ourselves, but uh, that's sport, and there could only be one winner tonight. Oh, well, I know it's always tough. I'll let you get back over the media side there, uh, Skip. Well done on the season. Well, the Blues had the lead rounding into the home straight, but they ran up against the Crusaders side that had every answer to every question. Another title, five out of five for Scott Robertson. Will he bust out the moves tonight? He deserves to. Smiles all round. Champions again, the Crusaders. Final score at Eden Park in the Super Rugby Pacific final, 21 to 7.